<laughs> yung nanay niyo daw na walang kwenta, pumunta ng Siargao na walang dala. Sige. Una, pumunta ng Siargao para magpa-photo op. Gusto niyo yan? Yan ba ang pinagmamalaki niyo? Mm -mm. Pumunta ng Siargao, nag-private plane papunta, nag-chopper pa alis, pero walang dala ni tubig. Una. Pangalawa, and this is the great part, I've always known that the Matugases are rotten to the core. But I didn't know they were that bad. Imagine ninyo sa dapa. Hindi daw pwede i-release ang relief goods kasi hindi pa dumating yung mayor. Na kailangan pa daw sabihin na galing sa mayor ang relief goods para i-release. And this is from somebody very reliable. His name is E.Y. Liao from Davao City. Sa tanan pagyud ninyong makasakop sa inyong kabuang dia sa Siargao, mga matugases, taga Davao pagyud. If this video won't reach Malacanang or the Dutertes, I'm pretty sure they will tell the truth in my behalf. That's first. Ikaduha, how is your sports complex? Di ba kaka-inaugurate lang ni President Duterte? Wow! Substandard! Nadugmok daw nga murag pulvoron. Aren't you just a rough and corrupt kind? The kind nga naara sa airport nagtambay, naghuwat kung kinsay mo abot. When you're supposed to be clearing the roads in Siargao and helping your people. That's why I want to go to Siargao. To see for myself how useless the local government units are. So the world knows that this is a repeat of Yolanda in that area. This is not the president's fault. This is not the national government's fault. This is the fault of people that are too hungry for power but focus on their pockets and not on public service. But I'll still help you. I'll still help Shargao, Surigao, and Dinagat. Regardless if I don't like their leaders. Because that's how I am and that's who I am and that's what Sara Duterte would do. So be like Sara Duterte, guys. Sara Duterte only. Ingat! Mwah!